Now that we've completed our review of thermodynamics, we're going to start our introduction to propulsion. Now the goal in aerospace propulsion is to create a force to propel a vehicle. We're going to primarily deal here with air breathing propulsion. which means we take in mass from the surroundings and set it in motion backwards and use the reaction force generated to propel the vehicle. Uh, the other kind of aerospace propulsion is rocket propulsion, and we'll talk about that later on in the course. Now, there's a few key steps to air breathing propulsion. Essentially, we continuously do the following. We draw in air, we compress it, we add fuel and burn it, converting chemical energy to thermal energy. We then expand that high energy or high enthalpy gas through a turbine to drive the compressor uh, that was used earlier. So we're extracting work from the flow. We then take that remaining high energy gas and expand it in a nozzle to convert thermal energy to kinetic energy and momentum. And this is what's done in a turbojet or a turbofan engine or we take the fluid at the, after it's gone through the first turbine and expand through a second turbine which is used to drive a shaft for the fan in a turbofan engine or a propeller in a turboshaft engine and so the fan or the propeller impact impart kinetic energy momentum to the flow this lecture, we're going to focus on turbojet propulsion. So, if we put this another way, we want to take a mass uh, flow rate, m dot, which is moving at the flight speed v naught and throw it out at some increased speed v naught plus delta v. So one of the first things we need to be concerned with is how to quantify the performance of a propulsion system. And there's two things we usually care about. The force produced thrust we usually call F sub T and the overall efficiency. Of the propulsion system eta overall. Figuring both of these out requires considerations of both thermodynamics and fluid mechanics.